All right, this is from WPDE.com. Uh, a teenager in New Hampshire has become the first transgender contestant to win a local Miss America organization beauty pageant. Brian Gwynn, didn't even change his name, he's still Brian, 19, won Sunday night's pageant to become Miss Greater Dairy 2023, which awards, a, uh, a win, uh, awards the winner a crown, a title, and a scholarship. I think we have the footage of this, uh, of this young man. Winning the beauty pageant. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's let's watch that. Can we skip to the good part? Hmm. So, as you can see, that's... Uh, you know, it's the uh, offensive lineman with the Detroit Lions that just won the um, the Miss America pageant. There, it's like this is a, a an obese man was awarded the beauty pageant winner. Um, Gwen announced on Instagram, "In the 100 year history of Miss America, I have officially become the first transgender title holder within the Miss America organization." No words can describe the feeling of having the opportunity to serve my community and represent my community for the very first time at Miss New Hampshire. I am so honored to be crowned your new Miss Greater Dairy 2023, and I am thrilled to show you all what I have up my sleeves. Really don't want to see. This will be an amazing year. Using techniques that have been honed and perfected by generations of bladesmiths, Kamikoto knives are crafted only of high quality Japanese steel. Each Kamikoto knife goes through a rigorous 19 step process that takes several years from start to finish. And I'm supposed to show you one of them. Uh, here are the knives right here. These are beautiful knives with more than 100 years of experience between them. Kamikoto's expert bladesmiths shape of raw Japanese steel into hardy blades, polishing and sharpening them to an excruciatingly fine single bevel edge this sharp edge is why Kamikoto knives can cut through meat and fish like butter, and it's why they're used by Michelin star chefs all around the world. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. Plus, Kamikoto knives come in a beautiful, heavy-duty ash wood box, which you can see right here for safe storage. This stunning presentation makes Kamikoto a great gift during this holiday season. Kamikoto is now running a Black Friday sale and offering my viewers an additional $50 off any purchase with discount code Walsh. Go to kamikoto.com slash Walsh to get your uh, knives set and also help support our channel. That's kamikoto.com slash Walsh. There's a few things going on here. One of them, it, it goes back to something I talked about with Joe Rogan uh, on Monday. You know, he brought up that, you know, this this gender ideology stuff it it, it affords people. It's a, there's a, of course a lot of narcissism involved in it, and that's that's certainly the case here. But it also affords people the opportunity to to like uh, earn something or have an achievement, despite having achieved nothing. Like you don't have to work for it, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to accomplish anything, and suddenly you you have achieved something. That's a lot of this. So this guy has a, a, the first in a hundred years. I'm a trailblazer. He didn't do anything. He put on a dress. He just showed up at this uh, at this beauty pageant, and he won as soon as he walked in the door. Because for the people deciding who the winner is, it, he, he was he presented to them an opportunity to virtue signal, and they took it. You know, this is the Northeast. This is New Hampshire. They're gonna they're gonna take that opportunity as soon as he presents it to them. So he did nothing. And yet he gets to claim this title for himself. I'm the first in 100 years to, what an achievement. So there's a lot of that. But also, also consider that, you know, I know with the body positivity stuff that, uh, you know, we're, we're entering a, a world where very often, you know, an, an obese woman maybe could win a title like that. But I think what's, what's more likely, I mean, look at all the other, you, you see him and then compare him to all of the actual women on stage, and you notice a difference. Well, there are, there's a number of differences, but one of them is that all the other, he is morbidly obese, and none of the other women are. None of the actual women are, I should say. The point is that if he looked exactly like that, but was actually a woman, 
not only would he not have won Miss America, he would not have been allowed on the stage. And that's, it's kind of interesting too, because I've, uh, I've pointed out before that when it comes to this body positivity stuff, the one thing missing are men usually, because usually when you see, you know, when some uh, brand puts out an advertisement celebrating body positivity with a, with a, an obese model, you know, it's, it's, it's almost always women. You, you very rarely see a guy with a big fat beer gut, you know, appearing in a, in a dove ad or something like that um, as a champion of body positivity. The plus size models, very rarely men. So body positivity, celebrating obesity, almost always applies to women, not men. Except in this case, if the man is pretending to be a woman. That's how twisted things are. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you on Monday. Godspeed.